I don't know what to do with him. He screeches like a monkey, and yet he walks like a man. He's confusing me. He's confusing all of us, but he's still a person. I will have to take him in. You? Messua, this is not a smart idea. The boy needs a home. I'll teach him our language. Don't worry, Buldeo. It'll be all right. See that it is. I'll put him in the pasture to take care of the bulls. He seems to understand them rather well. Mowgli spent three months among the men, learning customs, wearing clothes, and caring for what he once would have struck down in a heartbeat. But he did not endear himself to the village elder, Boldeo. In the jungle there is a tiger, a mighty tiger with a limp upon his back, right leg. This tiger is a demon, a dark soul of the forest, reincarnated from a lame money lender, who was so stingy with his money. He often starved people to death. They say he lives to starve the jungle to death as well, eating everything he can find until there is nothing more. Huh, what a silly story. Mowgli! But, Monsieur, it is. That tiger, I fought him before. He's simply an old beast who was caught in a trap when he had more spry limbs. Why, one time, I fought him off with a fiery branch upon the rock where the lone wolf was cast out. That's enough from you, boy. Your stories are a nuisance to this council. Get out of here! Well, forgive me for trying to keep your lies from leaving this place. Uh, Mowgli, get back here! I will go get him. See that you do. A jungle beast like him shall learn why his friends fear fire. Mowgli! Mowgli! I'm here, Monsieur. Mowgli, you mustn't disrespect Boldeo. He's our leader. He's a fool! He makes up what he doesn't understand and passes it off as fact! Mowgli, come back to the council, take your punishment, and just be a man. Keep your mouth shut and there will be no more trouble. But sometimes there needs to be trouble. Why can't they understand he's lying? Why can't people accept the jungle as the jungle? Mowgli, don't go! I don't belong here. No matter what Hathi says, I have to go. Mowgli, come back! Goodbye, Masua. Mowgli, at last I found you. A wolf! Hush, he's my brother. What is wrong, Grey Brother? Mowgli Shere Khan is in the jungle again. He means to kill you on the night of the tiger. When is that? No one knows. It varies from year to year, but he is waiting on it. Then we shall have to head him off. Find me by Kira, Akila, and as many of the pack as you can get to help me. We'll take care of this. Mowgli, what just happened? You're scaring me. Masua, look for me in three days. I shall return to the village then, victorious. Until then, I dare not stay here, else I put you all in danger. No, I must go back to the jungle and take care of Shere Khan once and for all. When all were gathered, Mowgli began to speak, unraveling his plan to end the life of Shere Khan. And Akira shall drive the left down into the valley, great brother and Bakira, the right. And by the time your work is done, Shere Khan shall be dead. This plan is insane, suicidal. How do you expect to come? To, how do you expect him to come to this anyway? You are a master of the jungle, Bakira, as much as he is. Deliver a challenge from me. He'll think it's easy prey and accept. I shall wait for him in the valley, and when I say so, do what I told you to do. I still don't like it, Mowgli. It will be the end of us all. No, no, I think Mowgli is right. You can do this. It will require Mowgli to run fast out of the way, but you can do this. It's worked before. It has? Yes. I remember it working long ago. It was a panther, not a tiger, but it worked. Do it, Mowgli. It's your only shot. Thank you, Ka. Now, Bagheera, deliver the challenge. In the morning, Shere Khan dies. Mowgli stood at the bottom of the canyon, waiting to see Grey Brother at the top and waiting for his opponent to walk out. Then there was a thud, and behind him, having slid his way down an embankment, was the mighty tiger, Shere Khan. Man Cub, welcome back to the jungle. What can this master do for you? You can give me your, fu- your hide without a fight, Shere Khan. <laughs> the Man Cub presumes his mastery over me. What power do you have, man cub, that Shere Khan cannot match? The power to be smarter than you. Now, brother! Now, Akira! Stampede the herd! What? Ah, uh, 
Mowgli sprang upon the canyon wall, clutching it for a dear life as the herd Mowgli had cared for in the man village for months ran panicked from the jaws of Akela, Bagheera, and the Grey Brother and into the valley where Shere Khan lay in defeat, knowing he would not survive. He too tried to leap onto the wall of the canyon, and unlike Mowgli, he could not stay. With a cry of despair, he looked into Mowgli's eyes and saw that the boy had him. Dodging through the legs of the buffalo, battered, bruised, and bleeding, he rushed toward the man-cub, ready to sink his claws into Mowgli's back. He never reached him. When the thunderous sounds of the buffalo stopped, Mowgli walked into the valley and found the broken remains of Shere Khan at his feet. It's time for my moment, Shere Khan. Your skin is mine. No, it is mine. I don't appreciate you using my buffalo that like that, boy. So I thought, being that it was my buffalo herd you killed this tiger with, you should give me the tiger's skin. There's a good reward out for this one. Akila, please pin the hunter. What did you say, boy? Speak human. What? Ah! Make a move, human. I dare you. Call off your wolf, boy! Call it off! Don't you think the tiger's skin? Call off the wolf! I am taking a kill. I rightfully earned through my force of mind. Deprive me of your kill at your peril. Leave. Now. I don't know what your panther said, but I think I'm going to leave. This isn't over now, boy. We still have a score to settle! And we will. Mowgli rolled up the hide of Shere Khan and made his way back to the man village. But when he got there, something was wrong. There were men gathered in the center, and it was not council time. They were all frightened. A witch boy, I say! He transformed into a wolf before my very eyes, threatening to rip out my throat! Lies! The hunter lies! See? He has the tiger skin! That just proves that my story is true! The witch boy is trying to end you all! No, it is not true! I killed this tiger! You? A boy with no gun? <laughs> if you did so, you truly are a witch. Now give me the tiger and I will cleanse you of your wickedness. No, I refuse. Then you do so to your peril. What say you men? Cast him out? Cast him out! Then it is decided. Leave this place, Mowgli. Do not return. And so Mowgli left the manned village bitter in his heart about what they had done. He returned to the Council Rock and, as promised those many years ago, lay the hide of Shere Khan upon it. And he sat down and he wept. Cast out of man, cast out of jungle, is there no place for me? Mowgli. Baloo! Bagheera! Mowgli, you are a child of both man and the jungle, but do not despair about which to choose. Hathi and I have spoken, and for your bravery in keeping your word and ridding the world of Shere Khan, you may return to live in the jungle. Mowgli, you are and always will be a citizen of this jungle. Though there will be a time when man will return to man, it is not now. Welcome home, Mowgli. Oh, Baloo, thank you. Thank you. Days went by. Mowgli hunted beside Bagheera once more. And the hunting was good, but the man village was always on his mind. So one day he decided to look in on Masua and found her in chains. Masua, what happened here? They have me on trial for harboring a witch. This is because of me? I fear so. Oh, Mowgli, I know what you are. I know who you are, but they'll never understand. They won't have to. When I am done, there won't be a they left to understand. Mowgli, do not toy with man. They will kill you. Buldeo hunts for you daily in the jungle. Then I shall come for him by night, Masua. I will return for you when the sun is just about to set tomorrow. You will be freed again. Mowgli set out to find that wisest of animals in the jungle, Hathi, the elephant. Hathi alone could help him now that the man-killer Shere Khan was dead. Hello, Hathi. Man cub, surprising to see you here. Why do you seek me out? There's a story circulating around the jungle of an elephant long ago left lame by a trap set by a young hunter in the nearby village. I wish to know finally how this, the story of this elephant. Hmm, there is not much to tell of this one. He was a young elephant, as the man was a young man. 
The trap left him with his back legs stiff and painful. The elephant could not take revenge, for he could never again find the man. But what if I had found the man, Hathi? What if I had heard from that man of the trap he set for the elephant while I was in the man village? <coughs> Would you take your revenge then, Hathi? For it is you, is it not? I do not deny it. It is me. But even then, what can I do to take care of this? Let in the jungle. Yes. Let her in the jungle, Hathi. Tear down the village. Rip it apart. Scatter the men across the jungle and let them fend for themselves in the world that hates them as much as they hate yes. us. Yes! I shall call my family. Tonight we storm the village. Tonight we let in the jungle. Mowgli did not intend to let Buldeo go without punishment, so he went to Council Rock and took up Shere Khan's hide. He then made his way to the man village with some rope and the skin of the tiger. We are ready, Mowgli. Not yet, Hathi. I have some things I need to do first. When I return to you, it will be with the man who injured you, and you may have your revenge. Now, to Masua's hut. Masua was inside no longer in chains, but in a burial robe. She was preparing to die, to be burned alive. Mowgli, you came. Of course I did. Now, I will cut your bonds. Go for into the jungle. About 40 miles in the direction of the rising sun is another man village. Into the jungle? Alone? Trust me, Masua. I have the word of all the jungle people that no none will touch you until you reach the man village. Go. Mowgli, now. Mowgli, thank you. She's gone. Now to don the hide of Shere Khan and pay a visit to Bordeo. What? A dream. A dream of a tiger. <coughs> no! No! I saw you die! That way killed you took your skin! No, you stay back! Stay back! What's going on? It's taking off its head. It is the night of the tiger, Bodeo. I will make Shere Khan's kill. No! Get away! No. I will not kill you. Instead, I shall tie you up. Leave you to the master of masters. Okay. Mowgli, you are paid by! Your mother's going to burn! Masua is free and under the protection of the jungle. Now, your hands are bound. Come with me. Here he is, Hathi, the man who set the trap. No, you must be mistaken. I set no trap. No mistake here. I never forget. What did he say? What did he say? He says he never Forgets. Ah! Mowgli left Bordeo's body unceremoniously in Hattie's footprint and turned to watch as Hattie and his family, the massive elephants, ravaged the village, laying it to nothing. Mowgli smiled as the humans who had been so cruel ran from the feet of the elephants and the remains of their homes sank into the mud. The jungle has come to man. Now man must go into the jungle. Months passed, and Mowgli saw nothing of the men he had sent into the jungle to live or die. Bagheera, Mowgli, and Akela hunted together and feasted together, Mowgli occasionally giving some of his kill to Ka as he agreed. But one day they found the game to be less plentiful, and there was a sense of fear in the jungle, not seen since the days of Shere Khan. Something is wrong here. It is as if there is some force in the jungle driving out all the people. No, not in the jungle. On the plain. Baloo, you're shaking all over. What's wrong? Kayla, the red dog has returned. The red dog? But the treaty banned their kind from ever returning to the jungle or the plain surrounding. This kind cares nothing for old treaties. They are killing all the prey, Kayla. Soon there will be nothing left. Then we instead shall kill them. Mowgli, have you ever seen a red dog pack? It's a deadly force meant to do nothing but kill and eat. Almost mindless creatures of nothing but hunger and famine and death. We fought them out of the jungle long ago, and they agreed to never return. One will know how to destroy them. Akila, come, we must get a kill. I need to ask Ka. 
red dogs. Yes. I remember the first time they came to the jungle. They were great in number and strength. This force is greater than the ones before. Then there isn't much of a chance. Let me search my memory for something that may defeat them. So Akela and Mowgli waited, and Kaa disappeared into the dark recesses of her own memory. When she emerged, she had good news. Yes. Yes. There is a way. Cover yourselves in garlic and bring the red dog to the banks of the river. <coughs> Disturb the bees. The red dog cannot swim, and some will be killed by the bees, others by the current as they dive to escape. Then surround the dogs and destroy what is left. Will the bees not touch us? Bees dislike the garlic. They'll stay well away. So they did as Ka commanded, and the red dog was drawn to the river. Covered in bees and frightened of the water, the red dog attempted to fight through the pack. Akela, strong and fierce, killed alone fifteen of the red dog, but still more came. Mowgli fought hard and long until he heard a terrible noise. Oh! Akela, Akela, brothers, they have slain the lone wolf. Fight them back and this! With a furious anger, the pack turned once more to the red dog, slashing and biting until there was nothing left of the monster's pack. And at last, Mowgli sat down beside the killer and held his head. Man cop, Mowgli, we fought well together, you and I. A killer, you were a father to me. Do not die now. I do not have much of a say in that, Mowgli. It is my time. And I leave you with this, my little man cub. From man you came, and to man you must return. But you are my leader. Who will now drive Mowgli? Mowgli will drive Mowgli. You have led yourself for a long time hence. Mowgli will drive Mowgli. Go to man. Oh, Akila. Good hunting, my old friend, my father. Good hunting wherever you have gone. Alone. So alone. Shall I go to man? What must I do? I cannot make this decision alone. Bagheera! Baloo! Ka? Anyone? We are here, Mowgli. We never left you. We never will, as long as you want us here. You are a master of the jungle, but you too are man. This is my home, but it feels like it no longer. What has become of me? Mowgli, you have shed a skin. I didn't want it to go. I want to wear it again. I want to be a person of the jungle. Oh, Mowgli. Once we shed our skin, we cannot crawl back into it. It is the law of the jungle. Mowgli, your time here is over. You have sensed it. You have truly become a man. What of the price you paid, Bagheera? Do I not owe you? Mowgli, look over that ledge. See that bull in the valley? A bull once paid for you. A bull now sets you free. Whatever you do, Mowgli, remember that Bagheera loved you. Bagheera, wait! Remember that Bagheera loved you, and Bagheera always will. She does not do well with times of goodbye, Mowgli. Look there, across the river. A girl? A sign. Go, Mowgli. Excuse me. Wh who are you? I am Mowgli, of the jungle people. End of men. Is there a village nearby? Yes. Come with me. I shall show you. So, man goes to man at last. No, old friend. Man goes to woman. And that was the Jungle Book. I want to thank all of you guys for actually coming back and doing this, because in case you guys didn't know, this was our second attempt at doing it. We lost the recording the first time. And... Uh, it 
to make sure this doesn't happen again, I am going to press it right now. You're all going to confirm that this recording exists. <laughs>